I have had a revelation. Last night, a new group of recruits joined our ranks and have already been sworn in. They have traveled far from the east, west, south, and north. They're coming to this place at this time. Is no accident. They bring word of more camps, like the one to the south, which we have purged. Camps filled with degenerates, thieves, drug addicts, and murderers. We are threatened, all of us. Every day, we live in the shadow of death. But that shadow is not cast by rabid freaks that surround us. They are part of God's plan. They are part of God's punishment. No! No. It is not the freaks who threaten to destroy us. It is our fellow man. Like Noah before us. We have built an ark to save mankind. To save all the knowledge. So when the flood waters recede, we may rebuild. But in this age, here at the end of the world, God is not sending the oceans from their beds to rise up and sweep away the damned. There will be new baptism of water. No. In this last age, we are the flood. We are sent forth to baptize the world with fire. Today, we begin a holy war against all those who have brought down the wrath of God. We will move north, seek out the depraved, and cleanse. Oh, St. John, come in. Okay, I hope you're ready because we're doing this. We're doing this right now. Give me your coordinates. Done. Wait, where are you? Center of Crater Lake, Wizard Island, and Militia Camp. Disabled the RPGs? Oh shit, not yet. I'll get right on that. Radio me when you're ready. O'Brien out. RPGs. Where would they be? Oh. Towers. It's gotta be the towers. That's right. Keep moving. Moving against other camps? Jesus, that's harsh. Find me some grub while you're out. Come on, you son of a bitch. Right. That'll do it. I gotta get to Sarah. Sarah? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, come in. Hang on, I'm coming. Can't you stand guard or do whatever it is you're doing out there? Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you at all times. Yeah, well, fuck the Colonel's orders. Hey, you watch your mouth. Things are changing around here. And if you don't follow the order... <laughs> Make sure we're clear. You're good. You're clear. Okay. That's the plan. I need you to pack your stuff. We're leaving. How are we going to get out of here? There are guards everywhere. Do you trust me? Well, Brian... I'm here. We're heading up to the cone. We got one shot at this. Copy that. O'Brien out. Who's O'Brien? Where are we going? Look, I don't have time to explain. You got everything? We're not coming back. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Right, stay close, and if we see anyone... Hey. In case you didn't read my note. Wait, so whose house is getting us out of here? I told you, O'Brien is how I found you. He was the Nero soldier who was there that night, the night that I put you on that chopper. Nero? Shit, Weaver! 
No, 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 that one. The canister. Right. Private, are you paying attention? Eyes on your work, man. That canister, right there. Up! I don't want to see that canister fall. Holy shit, he let us go. Weaver let us go. Oh shit, more guards. Okay, hold here. It's a long story. I'll tell you all about it once we get clear. Wait, so they're still flying? I mean, God, Deacon, they must have resources, labs, equipment. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure they do. Look, you can ask O'Brien when you see him. Another guard. Hold on. I'll distract him. Yeah, I'll be careful. Soldier. What are you doing? Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. This area is off limits. How? Hey, what? Oh. Nice going. Another guard. I'll see if I can get them to move. Yeah, I'll be careful. Well done. Come on. We're almost there. You want to go with me? To Lost Lake, I mean? I mean, I, th I thought we were going to Cloverdale. No, we are. I mean, I just want to see him. He's like my big brother. I don't know, it's not like we have much family left these days, you know? Hey, wait, wait, no. I mean, I, mean I, th I thought we were going to Cloverdale. No, we are. I mean, I just want to see him. He's like my big brother. I don't know, it's not like we have much family left these days, you know? Who was that? Oh, no. Want to go with me to Lost Lake? I mean, I, mean, I, th I thought we were going to Cloverdale. No, we are. I mean, I just want to see him. He's like my big brother. I don't know, it's not like we have much family left these days, you know? Wait, I'll distract him. Something's moving. Soldier, over here, please. Ma'am, this is restricted. Are you questioning me, sir? <laughs> Daylight. Come on, we're almost out. Yeah, okay, this is it. We're at the cone. Okay, we made it. Where is it? Where is he? Where is it, Brian? He'll be here. He'll be here. We just, uh, Need Gentlemen, this is the top of the cone where you can see we get an amazing view here. Oh, Lieutenant. I've just been giving this group of new recruits a tour of the island. Oh, we're just about to go down into the Ark. You should join us. Uh, well, uh, gentlemen, Colonel... this is Lieutenant Whitaker. She heads up part of the research team that's exploring ways to use poison to defeat our enemies. Schrader! I 
was just Ridiculous. trying to tell you Don't that we were going her. on a supply He's a murderer run. and a spy. Why would you, you listen to him over me? You, you know I am not. like the leader of that camp, Lost Lake, oh, sent him here. Full of shit. I'm telling I'm, you. I've never even met this motherfucker. Colonel, you've got to believe me. Enough! All right. I'm listening. I am telling you. He is a spy. Matt, this guy's mm -hmm. crazy. You've never seen him before. Lieutenant, he comes out of nowhere, you're gonna believe what, what's him? What's that you camp you're I'm saying lying. I'm from? You think Lost I'm lying? What the fuck? Is that it? I'm not lying. Have him show us your back. Yeah. Huh? Show us enough, your back. Enough, enough! That's my last warning. Now we will get to the truth of this matter. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Captain Khoury, I forget, is that the 8th or the 9th commandment? I don't rightly recall, sir. Tell me what you saw, and don't lie to me, son. I'll know. At Lost Lake Camp, he attacked a woman. What the fuck are Corporal! you talking? He wasn't wearing a shirt. Son of a bitch has a tattoo covering his back. It's some satanic shit. It's some kind of dog, a dead dog chewing through a chain or something, like it was nothing. I, I pulled him off her. He was drunk and we fought like hell, but who knows what wouldn't have happened if I hadn't have been there. You make him show us his back, and you will see who's lying. I'm sorry, Colonel, this shit is just so crazy. <clears throat> Turn it. <laughs> You wear the image of Cerberus, the Hound of Hades. How fitting that you were discovered ascending from the underworld. But you are not Cerberus, are you, Deacon St. John? You hide behind angelic names! I found your truth! He's not kicked out of the You are Judas! And what about you, Lieutenant? How convenient that you were with the Drifter when the Nero helicopter came by. Colonel, I do not know what you're talking about. You were in a Nero camp that was overrun. How long have you been spying on us? How long? Matt, I promise, I haven't been- More lies! I expect this from Drifters. I expect men like him to betray me! What did the officer- Colonel, it was me! Ugh. It was me! Colonel, I lied. If you look in my pocket, you're gonna find a radio. Because I called them. I called them and I lied. I lied to the lieutenant. I told her that uh, I needed her to help me check a shipment, but the truth is I just needed a hostage. Deacon St. John, Drifter. Are you there? This is Nero. This is O'Brien, Drifter. I'm sorry. Corporal St. John is unavailable right now. Wait. Who is this? Sometimes, in the search for truth, the blood of innocence is spilled. Release Private uh, Sarkovsky, was it? Yeah. And Kuri, take this drifter to lock up. Tomorrow at 0700, he will stand trial and he will hang. <laughs> Lieutenant, enough of this. We have work to do. Tell me more about this Lost Lake camp. Yes, sir. Anything you want to know. Lieutenant! Please. Come on. Get up. Uh.
Good. I thought I heard you breathing. Oh, fuck you. That's what I want to hear. It means the shit hadn't broken you yet. <clears throat> okay. Why? Pat on your back. A dead dog chewing through its chains? <clears throat> Not something you see every day. <clears throat> I did some digging before we freed you. I was, um, I don't know, trying to make sense out of it. This was taken from the lieutenant when she came into the camp. My guess is, it's yours. Yeah, it's mine. And your wife's name? It ain't Beth. No, it ain't. And you've been out here all this time? Trying to find her? You just asked me why. <laughs> Pretty simple, really. The way I figure it, any man who goes through God knows what to find his old lady does not deserve to die at the end of a rope. Wait, wait, wait a second. You're, you're, you're helping me? Well, that, that just means you're all gonna hang. We're not going back. The colonel is batshit crazy. <laughs> Holy war, genocide, I mean, what the fuck is that? Yeah, well then, what's the plan? What are you gonna do? We're going east. Yeah. Hopefully we can make it to Reno. You should come with us. Nope. Well, you can't go back. The militia will shoot no, you on I'm sight. No, I'm not leaving without her. Uh, and I gotta ride north. I gotta warn Iron Mike. It's way too late for that now. <laughs> Why? Well, they spent all night clearing the Santiam Pass. What? A convoy rode out early this morning heading north. Oh, shit. Are you sure you don't want to come with us? Yeah, I'm sure. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Hey, uh, uh, Corey. When I told the Colonel about my military service, I told him I hated every goddamn minute of it, but, uh, maybe it wouldn't have been so bad if... I'd served under someone like you. You know, maybe it's not too late. I gotta get back to Lost Lake. I gotta head north. I gotta save Boozer. Ricky, Iron Mike, and I, I, I can't save Sarah. I can't save Sarah, but I can save them. I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm sorry. But I'm not I'm giving up. I'm gonna find a way. I'm gonna come back for you, I swear to God. I am coming back for you. I gotta head north. Take the uh, Sandium Highway. Ah! 
take that. At last. Where'd you all go? Yeah. That's my thing. Hang on, Bruiser. I'm coming. Whoa.
out. There we go. This'll do. Okay. Scrap. Are you there? Come back. Booze man, come back. Deke, is it you? Yeah, move in here, goddammit! Addy, get the woman inside. Boozer! Deke, I'm glad to hear you, brother. I sure could use you about now. Get him inside! Move, damn it, move! Look out! I'm coming, Boozer! 
I'm almost there. Uh, Schizo. Schizo. He's there, Boozer. He's coming for you. They're, they're coming in through the gate. Go, go. Let him come, Zeke. Let him come. Boozer! Damn it. Ricky. Lost leg camp. Come in. Ricky, I hear Mike. Come in. Deke, you're alive. That's like Schizo said you were dead. Find Schizo, damn it. Find Iron Mike. Hey, hey. They're pulling out. They're on the run. We got him. We got him. Where's Schizo? Has anyone seen Schizo? We did it. Right man. on, yeah. dude. Where the hell is Schizo? Bunch of us have been looking for him. No one's seen him. Hey, come on. We gotta go. Hey, don't worry. We're gonna find that asshole. <gasps> Deke, thank God. Come on. Ricky, what's going on? It's Iron Mike. He got shot. Hey, you lazy son of a bitch. I wanted to... See, if you wanted to go fishing, we got a camp to feed. <coughs> you found her? You found her? You're a lady. Yeah, Mike, she's right outside. She, she's here? Yeah. Yeah, look, I, uh, I couldn't have done this without your help. No easy way to say this. Iron Mike's dead. What? Yeah. Stop. We tried to stop Schizo when the militia were pulling out. Iron Mike being Iron Mike. We tried to reason with him and. Okay. Yeah, I... shut up! Shut up! This ain't no eulogy. Iron Mike wouldn't want that. I don't have time for this because. Because the men that we killed today. Well, there's more where that came from. A lot more. I've been to their camp. I've seen their army. And when they come back here, they're gonna slaughter each and every one. Who's they gonna try? Unless we hit them first. Hey! 
Hey, shut up! Shut up! Listen to him. Iron Mike trusted him, so you have to trust him! No, 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 I'm sorry. You know what? I can't do this. I'm not Iron Mike. I'm a goddamn drunk. You're right. There's a road. No, I'm not fucking leaving. Look at me. Listen. All right. If I'm Boozer, tell me maybe you like Cali. Okay, so I found this in a survivalist bunker. Wait, this is... Yeah, yeah, we're gonna need a truck. Something big, something like a dump truck. And we're gonna fill it full of uh, fertilizer. nitrate? Yep. We're gonna mix it with 100 gallons of creosote. A fertilizer truck bomb. That's your plan. Oh, my God. The militia have turned this entire island into a fortress. Now you got civilians in the caves. You got the labor force and those considered unfit to serve in this survivor camp. And you got the armory and the garrison right by the main gate. We hit that, we tear out the heart of the colonel's militia. What about Sarah? Well, I mean, she's in the caves. It's what the colonel calls the Ark. But how, how do you know that they're not just going to kill everybody? Sarah, Sarah and everyone else. I, I don't, I don't, but I figure that the explosion will cause so much confusion and chaos that they're I can go in, I can find her, I can get her out before they know what hit her. Look, this isn't about just Sarah anymore. The colonel has declared war on all of us, and he's got an army to back him up. Look at Iron Mike and the rest of them. They're just the first casualties in that war. <laughs> it's going to be a short one unless we hit them first. <sighs> I didn't say it was a good plan. No, it's a really shitty one, Are You Nick. with me, brother? Oh, I wouldn't miss it. Okay. Well, we're not going to be able to do it alone. All right, okay, well, if anyone wants to join in, you hit him. You hit him at the south gate. Mm -hmm. Because when the explosion happens, all the militia, they're going to rush up toward the main gate. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to need some supplies. How's it coming? Back up. Hey, Deke. <sighs> hey. Uh, what's this? Oh, ask him. Well, truck's as big as a tank, right? Uh-huh. I figured. Might as well turn her into one. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, is this ready? Well, let's see, Deke. Time to fill her up. I know where to find some fertilizer. I'll radio when I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> My first one, uh, I was at work. Last day it turned out. Oh, Deacon, good to see you. Farewell. Hey, Blair, how are things in the gun trade? Yep. Uh, good choice. Okay. Yep, that's nice. 
Now that's an upgrade. Hmm, that should work. Okay then. <laughs> Don't be such a stranger. Hey, Deke. Joe. Yep, gotcha. I didn't stick around to see what happened. Deacon St. John, how have you been? Buzz, how's a camper's life? Start with this thing. Shit. Hey, uh, you still there, buddy? See you around. See you, Buzz. So what's your plan? I'm thinking we can find all the fertilizer we need over at the Iron Butte Ranch. Iron Butte Ranch? Yeah, I mean, it's not like Jesse and his rippers are gonna need it anymore. I mean, this place used to be a golf resort, yeah? They've got a maintenance area, you know, lawnmowers and stuff. Fertilizer. Goddamn right. Yeah, I'm gonna head over there right now. When it's clear, I'm gonna radio you and Ricky to bring the truck in. You got it, brother. Close her out. Dink, you there? Schizo. Oh, you got some nerve calling me. Bro, there you are. You gotta listen. Look, I tried to stop. I did. I'm shooting Iron Mike. I did not want it to go down like that, bro. Captain, the Colonel wants to see you right away. Yeah, yeah, look, I'll tell him I'll be right there. Captain, didn't take you long to lie your way into a promotion. This army crap is all bullshit, you know it. But bro, you gotta listen to me. I'm not your bro, Schizo. Fair enough. I just wanted you to know. Look, when Cory busted you out, the Colonel, he went crazy. Thought she was in on it. He lost his goddamn mind. He went after Lieutenant Whitaker. He was gonna kill her, Deke. Deke! Yeah, I'm listening. But I stopped him, Deke. I did. I told him that all that poison shit she's cooking up, maybe we use it to kill the freaks, but maybe we don't. Maybe there's an enemy camp. Maybe they got one water supply. Maybe dumping a gallon of hemlock into that, maybe that solves a lot of problems. Anyway, the Colonel, he likes that idea. So he puts me in charge of the Ark. 
wants me to keep it safe. She reports to me now, Dick. To me. What do you want, Schizo? Bro, I just wanted to warn you. They're coming. I can't stop them. They're coming, and this time, this time the Colonel's are bringing the whole damn house. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not going anywhere. It was because this time. I'll be there, goddammit! Now get out! Hey, D. Look, I gotta go. But, uh, I'll tell you, Tyler you send your best wishes. Captain Sarko is excited. You got some nerve calling me. Bro, there you are. You gotta listen. Look, I tried to stop. I did. I'm shooting Iron Mike. I did not want it to go down like that, bro. <laughs> Captain, the Colonel wants to see you right away. Yeah, yeah, look, I'll tell him I'll be right there. Captain, didn't take you long to lie your way into a promotion. This army crap is all bullshit, you know it. But bro, you gotta listen. I'm not your bro, Schizo. America, I just need you. Who was the one who called me crazy? Thought she was in on it. This is gonna be mine. The one after Lieutenant Whitaker. I'm just gonna kill him, Dick. Dick.
Yeah, yeah, Ricky, I'm here. I just wanted to say thank you for coming back to help us. I'm just sorry I was too late. You weren't. We'll stop him. Schizo, we're gonna stop him, right? Yeah, we're gonna stop him. I wanted to say I'm s sorry about your... about Sarah. I can't imagine what you must be going through losing someone t twice like that. Hey, I haven't lost her yet. They're building a really big bomb, remember? Well, glad to have you back. Hey, Ricky, uh... It wasn't his fault. Iron Mike, I mean, he was... He was only trying to... do the right thing.
You got some nerve calling me. Bro, there you are. You gotta listen. Look, I tried to stop you. I did. From shooting Iron Mike. I did not want it to go down like that, bro. Captain, the colonel wants to see you right away. Yeah, yeah, look, I'll tell him I'll be right there. Captain, didn't take you long to lie your way into a promotion. This army crap is all bullshit and you know it. But, bro, you gotta listen to me. I'm not your bro, Schizo. Fair enough. I just wanted you to know. Look, when Corey busted you out, the Colonel, he went crazy. Thought she was in on it. He lost his goddamn mind. He went after Lieutenant Whitaker. He was gonna kill her, Deke. Deke! Yeah, I'm listening. But I stopped him, Deke. I did. I told him that all that poison shit she's cooking up, maybe we use it to kill the freaks, but maybe we don't. Maybe there's an enemy camp. Maybe they got one water supply. Maybe dumping a gallon of hemlock into that. Maybe that solves a lot of problems. Anyway, Colonel, he likes that idea. So he puts me in charge of the Ark. Wants me to keep it safe. She reports to me now, Nick. To me. What do you want, Schizo? Bro, I just wanted to warn you. They're coming. I can't stop them. They're coming. And this time, this time the Colonel's bringing the whole damn house. Uh. Hey! I need what the hell is that? A little gift from Ricky. Still can't ride a bike, but I can shift the hell out of these gears. Wow. I uh, pull it over there. All right. Okay. Oh, God. That ought to be enough. All right. What's next? <sighs> Creosote, I'll ready you with you when I'm ready. 
Where the hell are we gonna get a hundred gallons of creosote? You don't wanna know. Copeland, Deacon St. John, come in. Deke, you out there? Hey, Cope. Yeah, let me guess, you got a job for me. Okay. Uh, I'll swing by when I get a chance. Deacon out. I need to talk to you. Ricky, what's wrong? Uh, militia. What? Where? Boozer thinks they might be planning another attack, so he asked me to send you to take a look. Goddamn militia. Open the gate. I know it. Yeah, I got this. Thank God. I'll let Boozer know. Ricky out. Come on, get him inside. What happened? Got hit again. The squatters off the highway. We've got to get some men together, go after them. Don't look at me, it ain't my problem. They've got Manny. 
You sent Manny on a supply run. I just run the camp, D. I don't tell folks how to live their lives. Go to hell, Cope! I wonder about the freaker sometimes, you know? I found his bike. I'm gonna see if I can track him down. My men said they'd set up an ambush on the Sanium. Yeah, I already found it. Deacon out. Besides, who the hell is around here knows how to rebuild a carburetor? Just back up. Nice and slow. Don't make a sound.
huh? Jesus, Dick. You did it. Oh, Jesus. It's clear. I've been camping too long. Never saw nothing like that before. Yeah, okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Well, you gotta twist my arm on that one. Yeah, so what the hell happened? What are you doing out here? I don't know. I hadn't been on a run in months. Felt like maybe I wasn't... I don't know. Doing my share. You know? A lot of assholes with guns out here, Manny. Not many know how to fix the shit that they ride around on. Yeah, yeah, that's what Cope said. Yeah, for once I agree with the son of a bitch. So what do you think? Why's it gotta be this way? Be what way? Anyone out here trying to kill everyone else? <sighs> Manny, you know how many folks were locked up in prisons before the shit went down? I mean, here in the States... Two and a half million. You count the ones that are out on parole and probation, that's almost seven million. So, one in 35 was someone who didn't give a shit about the law. And those are just the ones that got caught. So the question isn't, why is it like this now? The question is, why wasn't it always like this? Be sticking to the camp from now on. It's probably a good idea. You good from here? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Deke? I owe you, man. I'd be dead right now if you hadn't... Manny. Nose down. Nose down. They feed you. Now get the hell out of here. Hope I found him. Thank God and country. Hey, Steve. He's alive? He's a little banged up, but he'll live. I'm guessing a few drifters are trying to find out about your camp. How many men you have, how many guns. I hope he told them. We have all the damn guns we need, and we mean to keep them. Fitz don't got no more to say about that now, do they? No, I guess they don't. If Manny gets back. Tell him to keep his nose down. St. John out. Pretty busy to hey, Deke. Hey, Mercer. Sure. Okay, Deke. You stay safe out in the Deke. ship. Right.
cafe at Deacon, right? How's the bike business going, Zanny? Okay, then. <laughs> See you around. So work.
make something out of this. Open the gate. Deacon St. John. Hey, Mercer. How's life? Okay. <sighs> Stay old, brother. All right. What can I get for you? Hey, Zanny. Keeping your hands clean. Hey, see you, Deacon. Hey, how you been? You okay, something? just stopping by. Looking for anything in particular? Should keep you pretty safe out there. That right there, good piece. Powerful. Good shot. You'll like this one. You could use a gun like that. Good piece. Should help out in the shit. Here you go. Yeah, I can upgrade that. This will do you good out there. Here, good as new. Can I get anything else for you? Need anything else? Good choice. Thanks. What else can I do for you? Can I get anything else for you? Need anything else? Good choice. Yeah, all right. I'll be here. You need something? I'll see you later, man.
cooker. Deacon St. John, this is Tucker. I just wanted you to know that the Hot Springs appreciates all that you've been doing for us. Life ain't ever gonna be easy again, but you're making a difference to a lot of folks.